Hi, today I want to share uh, my evolution of my everyday carry kit. And I have it in here in this Peak Design 5 liter uh, sling. And this kit is my everyday documentation kit. So I use the Insta360 Go. So it's this little tiny magnetic camera that will attach to various different mounts. I either have it on my backpack, on a mount here, or clipped to my chest and a little battery case. And it records a bunch of 15 or 30 second clips that I use as B-roll for kind of just that walk around the day. The primary camera, uh, right now I'm filming on my big rig, my Fuji X-T3, but the primary day-to-day -day camera I use is the DJI Osmo Pocket. So this is a gimbal stabilized 4K camera that I use to capture day-to-day -day. And what I'm doing is I'm vlogging with this. So uh, if you triple click on it, camera flips around and gives you a view of yourself and you can actually start filming yourself, capture the image. Now I had this rigged up with a bunch of mics and it was just kind of a pain. So I'm using it now just with the internal mic. And with the latest firmware update, it's actually not too bad. And I'm recording just everyday grab and go clips talking to the camera here. And sometimes if I'm adventurous, I'll definitely pull out the Insta360 ONE X. And so this is a 360 camera and I carry along with me the selfie stick that screws at the bottom. And you can capture 360 footage anywhere and everywhere you go. And I use this sometimes when I want to capture just the scene around me and be able to recompose later in post. And so it's a really unique angle that creates the tiny planet views and other really cool views that you may have seen on the internet. Uh, here's the little mount that went along with the little camera. Now, if I'm doing some sort of tripod work, what I do have is a low Manfrotto Pixie tripod, and I have this larger mount that the DJI Osmo Pocket will come in. So it's a, again, also just a selfie stick handle. It extends and folds out. I haven't used this in a while either, so there we go. So I can get longer distance selfie shots, uh, but really what I'm using it as is the mount here, and then it has a quarter 20 at the bottom, so then I can attach my uh, tripod at the bottom. And if I'm doing some sort of work where I can't hand hold my DJI Osmo Pocket, I can set it up here, position the camera, and get the shot. So that's part of my daily kit there. And also inside the sling pack, really cool, lots of little pockets. I have a Bluetooth mic, uh, so something really small here. This Bluetooth mic uh, charges and it plugs into my iPhone. So if I'm ever doing any kind of iPhone footage and I needed to capture audio, I got that. I have the Rode Wireless Go, so it's a pack of a microphone and receiver. Um, again, this will plug into my uh, DJI Osmo Pocket, or really any camera that takes just a three, a three and a half millimeter jack. Of course, I have the three and a half millimeter jack and this ridiculously expensive uh, adapter for the DJI, DJI Osmo Pocket. Um, this works pretty well. Um, the only problem is you're hooking up and you're rigging up a lot of equipment. So this goes on me and then this goes on the DJI Osmo Pocket and now it's a cumbersome process. And I think one thing I learned is that when you take a shot with this here, um, using the audio adapter, there is like a two second lag. So I lost a lot of audio, good audio on footage I shot. And so lesson learned is turn it on, wait a few seconds to let it all initialize and set up before you take the shot. And that's it, that is the entire kit. There's room for more stuff here. I got some cables in the front here. Um, just this mountain of cables that sits here. I have, um, let's see, just different cables that plugs into this kit. And so this is my daily kit. Uh, I'll put it back as I'm talking, but um, the, the benefit of having this with me all the time, this whole bag goes inside my backpack and um, just having it available at any given moment, moment's notice. I can do some video work, record something, something's interesting, I wanna make sure I don't lose it. Uh, I definitely have it. 
but one thing to be aware of when you have a kit like this is you got to keep things fresh, meaning uh, keep the batteries charged. If you leave it stale for a while, um, the batteries definitely sometimes will drain, especially this Insta 361X. This thing just drains batteries when it's even not even on. Um, so periodically, I'll definitely pull out the camera to make sure it gets a, a little bit of a charge and it's all set up. So let me share um, a video that I recently made. I was a young boy in New York City. I worked the night shift until it hit me that you are what I'm living for. I will fight for you. 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 They just dropped off my uh, son to preschool right behind me, right there. And I'm getting ready to walk into work. This is my morning routine. Um, I switched to vlogging on just the DJI Oswald Pocket without any of the e So that clip was done with this really cool app called by Vimeo. They, they got acquired by Vimeo, but um, it's called Magisto. Um, and I love it. So for day-to-day -day vlogging where I'm capturing just my daily thoughts and some B-roll, rather than pulling out Final Cut Pro and doing a full edit, I am um, just recording my clips, talking to myself, capturing the uh, my thoughts and everything using primarily the DJI Osmo Pocket and some environmental shots with the uh, the Insta360 Go. Um, I throw all that footage into Magisto um, by kind of setting the order. And so by clicking on video clips, I, I will choose the order. I get all the video clips um, onto my iPhone, either using this plug here or this one has a lightning plug at the bottom of here. So get all those clips, get everything all together. Um, then in Magisto, click in the order and I choose a theme and I choose a song and I just hit process. And so it uses AI editing, picks out relevant things. And what I found is it does a really good job of blending in the B-roll, um, but also just toning down the music. So when I'm talking, it's uh, keeping just my voice clear and accurate. Uh, and it creates a really cool, interesting video. So rather than doing really boring uh, vlogs or spending a lot of time just doing the vlog editing, I'm able to just capture clips, capture kind of the core content of the day, throw it into a software, and it produces um, a video within about 10 minutes or so of, of processing time. Um, that video automatically goes to Vimeo and, a, and a Magisto's own service. And from there, I can simply just so upload to YouTube and it's fairly instantaneous. I mean, we're talking about seconds here. And so really quick workflow for a daily vlog type style. Um, this video that I'm making now is with my X-T3 and I'm recording it to my Atomos uh, Ninja 5. And so that's a little bit more involved. I'm working on bigger files. I got a whole lighting set up here. And so it's a little more involved. So after this shot, I'm gonna have to go downstairs, plug it into my computer, run it through Final Cut Pro and do some edits. And so that's uh, a little bit more involved. Hey, I'm really enjoying creating this YouTube channel, kind of the community that's happening here. My interests are kind of diverse, so I'm not sure what people are interested in. If you like this kind of stuff, uh, definitely hit me up with a comment. Let me know what you want to learn more, um, especially when it comes to uh, the small niche cameras or any of the Fuji systems. Um, I'm learning along the way, so hopefully this is a better improvement in terms of audio quality with my mic up here. I got a couple of light rigs out here, and I'm trying my best to stare into the camera and not into the, the uh, external screen here. So again, hit subscribe, give me a like, and come join me in this journey. Thanks.